Meet Yuval Noah Harari. He's an Israeli historian. He did his PhD at Oxford, and he now teaches at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. He has recently written an excellent, excellent best-selling book called Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. He wrote it in 2015. Now, he's also written another book called Homo Deus in 2017, and what it says here on his website, Sapiens, this book, showed us where we come from. <coughs> Homo Deus shows us where we're going. Now, he's also written another book in 2018, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, and he has this quote. It's very interesting. History began when humans invented gods and will end when humans become God. This is a wonderfully paradoxical statement. We invented something and then we're going to become something that we invented. Very much worth arguing with. Now, for example, he talks about on the myths we need to survive. And you might ask the question, do we really need myths to survive? Isn't the truth good enough? Here are some of the questions that he's interested in, in researching. What is the relationship between history and biology? Something we talk about in this course. What is the essential difference between Homo sapiens and other animals? When you see this question, you could ask, is there an essential difference between Homo sapiens and other animals? Is there justice in history? Well, I don't know. Does history have a direction? Did people become happier as history unfolded? What ethical questions does science and technology raise in the 21st century? These are all very important questions, and that's why so many politicians like Barack Obama and Angela Merkel are so interested in this guy's perspective. So let's talk about this one a little bit in a little bit depth and have a look at his book, Sapiens. In that book, the first chapter is called An Animal of No Significance, and he writes, I will often use the term sapiens to denote members of the species Homo sapiens, while reserving the term human to refer to all extant members of the genus Homo. So, for example, Homo rudolfensis, Homo erectus, and Homo neanderthalensis are all human. The problem with this is that Harari calls anything in the genus Homo human. But Homo sapiens interbred with Neanderthals and Denisovans, and possibly we've interbred with Homo erectus. Shouldn't we call anything we can interbreed with a member of the same species? And he goes on to say, Homo erectus survived for close to two million years, making it the most durable species ever. This record is unlikely to be broken, even by our own species. For example, we've li we say, how old are Homo sapiens? Oh, 100,000 or 200,000 years. And here, Homo erectus, two million. It is doubtful whether Homo sapiens will still be around a thousand years from now. He's a pessimist. So two million years is really out of our league. Now, Again, the problem is if Homo erectus is our ancestor and prob probably interbred with us, we have Homo erectus genes in us. This means Homo erectus is not extinct. They are us and are in our league. We are their league. 